Hello students, this is Principal Garrison and I am here to welcome you to West Jordan Middle School's 62nd Outstanding Achievement Awards. While we are sad that we're not celebrating together, we are happy that we are able to continue this wonderful tradition virtually. Your freshman year has been filled with so many challenging things. You helped op open a new building that wasn't quite ready. You rolled with the punches as technology didn't work and lunch lines were long. You worked hard to create a positive school culture in a new space. You took part in STEM and MESA. You had assemblies, science fair projects, music performances, field trips, and loads of homework. You demonstrated pride in our school and our community through service projects, through LIA, NGHS, and our student government. You participated in the very first virtual art show and the virtual chalk art challenge. We have all dealt with the effects of this global pandemic and it's like nothing we've seen in over a hundred years. We work together to transition to online learning with a growth mindset and the heart of a lion. In addition to all of those awesome things, we focused on our theme for the year, rise up, raise up the heart of a lion. We work together to rise to the challenges of the year and raise up those around us. As stated in a beautiful Hindu proverb, help thy brother's boat across and lo, thine own has reached the shore. This year, our ninth graders proved that they are ready and willing to lift each other up and rise to the challenges of life. We've continued to work as a Schools to Watch school in setting a positive example for what middle schools should be for hundreds of other students around the nation. We also have the most dedicated teachers, staff, and not to mention the coolest, hardest working students around. We're so grateful for you. The class of 2023 has a lot to boast of. The Empathy Project has continued its work. Several students and teachers gathered regularly to discuss a wide variety of social justice topics and learn to love themselves and others for who they are, all while striving to make WJMS a more inclusive space for all. We continue to build our peer mediation program, which has successfully helped many students solve conflicts with their fellow classmates. The National Junior Honor Society had 60 members this year who did 60 hours of service each quarter for well over 2,000 combined hours of service in their homes, school, and their community. This year's Latinos in Action class worked to become leaders in our school and community. Our LIA students are models for Latino youth and they engage through personal service and leadership. We had two ninth graders win at the senior division of the state science fair, which is an incredible achievement. And last but not least, we, cont we continue to cement the legacy as the best middle school on the planet earth. You will now see a series of award videos in which the teachers will present outstanding achievement awards. We would like to thank Mr. Franson for lending his video editing skills and creating this wonderful presentation. Please enjoy the video and know that we miss you more than words can express. And now I will turn the time over for ninth grade awards. The winners of the awards for band and orchestra are obviously talented musicians who have spent significant time and energy developing their musical skills. But during this time when we can't be together, I want to highlight their ability to work as part of a team. These students not only spent time and energy learning their own parts, but they also worked seamlessly with their classmates to prepare the music and give exceptional performances throughout the year. They accomplished this by being kind, friendly, helpful, encouraging, positive, patient, and enthusiastic. It has been a pleasure working with each of them this school year. The winners of the award for excellence in band are Kira Ewan, Deanna Gurley, and Killian Finnegan. And the winners of the Award for Excellence in Orchestra are Avery Schaefer, Mitchell Thome, and Kelsey Hyde. Congratulations.
Hello, WJMS students. I am so excited to take a moment and talk about choir. I'm so proud of the hard work that the choir kids have put in this year. We've performed in school concerts, online concerts, rehearsed our music, and come together as an ensemble to create some really great music and memories. The students selected for the ninth grade choir awards have gone above and beyond with their music. Not only have they participated in concerts and festival where they received a superior score, but they have all participated in additional activities and competitions, such as solo and ensemble, where all of our individuals received again a superior score, the best score you can get, and also in our school musical, Once Upon a Mattress, where all the hard work and dedication came from them. I am proud to announce the winners of the Choir Ninth Grade Awards are Eliza Ko, Mikkel Darcy, and our choir president, Chloe Hansen. Congratulations, you guys. Keep up the amazing work and keep singing. Hello, this is Bailey here to present some of our visual art awards. But before I get to the awards, I would just like to say that we've had a fabulous year in the visual arts department. Despite this year being incredibly strange, we have managed to pull together and rise up, raise up. We had our very first virtual art show, which has been very successful. We have also been hosting a virtual chalk art challenge and are so pleased with all of the wonderful submissions that we've received. Now onto the awards. Andy Warhol said, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or hate it. While they are deciding, make even more art. The students who are receiving the award for outstanding achievement in visual arts this year are very focused. They work hard to improve their artistic abilities and regularly step outside of their comfort zones in the name of becoming better artists. Henry Matisse said, creativity takes courage. These award winners don't let anyone or anything stop them from using their artistic gifts to express what is in their hearts and minds. They use their creativity to make unique and impressive works of art. It has been my honor and privilege to teach these wonderful students. One of them I've known since seventh grade and it has been so wonderful to get to know her and to watch her artistic abilities grow and change over the last three years. The other winner I've just met this year, but she has shown that she is an incredible artist and so willing to learn and grow. So I am excited to award Outstanding Achievement in Visual Art to Kelly Larson and Kenny Vance. This year, I am unbelievably happy to share the names of our ninth grade award winners for ceramics and photography. This is especially exciting because this is the start of a new legacy at WJMS. With a new era, these students are setting themselves apart as some of the most excellent ninth graders that WJMS has seen. Ceramic students should be especially proud as they have set themselves apart as wonderful ceramic artists. Those students are Aliyah Duran and Eli Atwood. Our photography winners should also be especially proud as this is the first year that WJMS has ever had a photography program and they are our very first students to receive this award. Those students are Gabe Zarate and Riley Cruz Shockey. Congratulations to all of our ceramics and photography award winners. You guys are wonderful and I am unbelievably proud of the work that you have accomplished this year. This year's Drama Award goes to three individuals who have shown passion, empathy, and a special spark of creativity. They are Kaya Gardner, Agatha Marston, and Nike Riefenberger. I'm so proud of you three. It has been my privilege to get to know you in the last three years, and I am so excited to see what you're going to do in the next few years. experience being able to jumpstart a new dance program at West Jordan Middle School this year and also to be able to teach yoga. 
I have loved learning so much from each of the students that I have had in my classes. And it is my privilege today to be able to announce the awards for both dance and yoga for the 2019-2020 school year. As I announce these, word, these awards, remember that a wise man once said, a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it, it just blooms. I hope that you will all focus on blooming individually rather than comparing yourself with others. We live in a really unique time and we can't control what's going on around us, but we can control what's going on inside of us. Martha Graham, a famous dancer, once said, dance is the hidden language of the soul. Through my life, I've used dance and yoga as a way to control what's going on inside of me. It's a way to express emotions, good or bad, even when you can't express those in words. And it is a way to express your passion. The students that I have chosen for this award have expressed passion throughout the year by using their physical bodies in both dance and yoga. I'm very proud of them for their willingness to push themselves physically and to be vulnerable as they shared that passion inside and outside of the classroom. Congratulations to the three dance and yoga winners who are Natalie Mejia Eaton, Zoe Chance, and Tasia Mora. Hi, it's my pleasure today to announce to you the winners of the 2020 West Jordan Middle School Athletes of the Year. First of all, I'd like to tell you how proud I am of all the student athletes who participated at West Jordan High School and contributed to their success. I hope to see many more of you next year. Also participate in athletics and carry on the great traditions that West Jordan Middle School has. I'm very proud to announce our winners today. They are for the West Jordan Middle School Athlete of the Year, Elijah Lapale. Jesus Chewy Cruz Abarca, Jennifer Garner, and Asina Vinako. Congratulations to our winners and good luck next year at West Jordan High School. This year has been turbulent to say the very least. We left the allegedly haunted West Jordan Middle School building for a new one that was almost finished by fall recess. The science and language arts faculty have experienced mid-year turnover only matched by Hogwarts defense against the dark arts position. And of course, we've all had to make the transition to online distance learning in recent months. It seems this year the only constant has been chaos. In the spirit of this all but steady school year, I wanted to give my language arts awards to two students who moved into our school in the middle of the year. Despite the challenges that come with being in a new place with new people, and in some cases learning a new language, these students brought talent, hard work, and positivity, never making excuses or performing with anything less than maximum effort. Although our time together was short, I'm grateful to have had the privilege of teaching Justin Balthasar and Melanie Flores Corral. You are my picks for the ninth grade language arts students of the year. Congratulations. It's Mrs. Walker here, so impressed by our language arts winners. I'd like to begin by giving language arts credit for being extremely tough. Reading comes easy for some, but not for others. And it can seem that writing is just time consuming for everyone. One reason language arts is so hard is that there are so many correct ways to write. And even if writing is good, it can always be better. The students who were selected to win awards this year have successfully learned the following principles. Revision, trying again, asking for help, and simply making time to reread and rewrite, even when there are a million other things that they would rather do. 
These students have exercised great stamina and determination to achieve their best creativity, deep thinking, reading, and writing skills. I am pleased to announce the winner for Honors 9th Grade Language Arts as Ella Kelch. The winners for 9th Grade Language Arts as Sharia Frank and Michaela Aubrey. And the winners for Creative Writing as McKenna Zumbrenen and Brooklyn Cryer. I am extremely honored to announce this achievement for each of you. Even if I only got to be your teacher for one semester, even if it was during these difficult circumstances, each of your influences has made me want to be a little better. So here's to you, congratulations. Hello students, Senor Sio here, and it's my honor to present the Outstanding Achievement Award for Spanish Digital 5 Honors and Spanish 3 Honors. The recipients of this award have demonstrated over the entire academic year dedication to the learning of Spanish, combined with a strong sense of courage, grit, resilience, and positivity. This year has been nothing short of a challenge, and this year winners have put their whole heart and soul in a lot of time into learning Spanish. And for that, Mr. Kubernick and I are so proud of you. For that, we'll call you Los Conquistadores del Español. Without further ado, um, this year's winners in Spanish DLI 5 honors are Ashlyn Arvizu, Ella Gilbert, and Liam Redmond. Congratulations, guys. You've done an amazing job. And the Conquistadores in Spanish three honors are Ella Kelsch, Timothy Jackson, and Erica Johnston. You are all amazing. You've done an awesome job in Spanish this year. Congratulations to all of you. You've grown so much and you deserve this award. Keep it up. Good afternoon, Lions. I'm sitting here on my patio, wishing I was there at school with all of you, wishing I could give these awards in person. These students that I would like to honor today have worked really hard at developing their skills in English. It's a difficult thing to learn English and study in English at the same time. And I'm very proud of all the work that they've, uh, all the things they've accomplished with the language but also with each other, with reaching out to their friends and being a support to one another and to you. These are some awesome students and I wish them the best and all the luck in the future. So today I would like to honor Francisco Nicolas Montejo, Yak Yak, Yamileth Morales, and Amy Rosado Diaz. Congratulations, students. I've loved being your teacher. Although many students excelled in world geography this year, two students have continuously shown hard work and dedication. My two choices for World Geography Student of the Year are Cody Dokos and Mohammed Mohammed Salah. Congratulations. The next award is for AP Human Geography. This is the first year that we've offered this college level class at West Jordan Middle School. The class aims to view human systems on a global scale and to analyze the many ways that humans interact with their surroundings. We studied many different topics, including demographics, culture, politics, and economics. We learned about many different theorists and models in an effort to understand the world. The course culminated in the AP test only a few weeks ago. Although many students stood out and rose to the challenge of a college level class, the students that I chose to represent the AP Human Geography Students of the Year have worked diligently throughout the school year and have made it a goal to think in geographic terms. My choices for the AP Human Geography Students of the Year are Ian McCall 
and Marcos Varela Lara. Congratulations, everybody. Geography is perhaps one of the broadest subjects taught in middle school. The goal in this course is to understand the world we live in, how people live their lives all across the globe, and the forces which shape the past, present, and future of humanity. To find success in this subject takes far more than simple memorization of maps. A true student of geography must cultivate a natural curiosity about the human experience and a universal empathy for all types of people. In our course this year, we've explored physical geography of the globe and prevailing climate patterns of the world as we attempt to understand the environment which shapes our lives. We then unravel the statistics by which we measure lives and livelihoods for whole populations and the forces which drive humanity to explore the entire globe. Students next explore cultures from across the globe before delving into introspection to understand their own cultures. Finally, Students will discover the building blocks of the political and economic forces which push and pull us all into the future. Any one of these subjects encompasses entire academic fields of higher learning, and our students attempt to learn the basics of all of these within one year. Many of my students have worked diligently to broaden their worldviews and understandings while engaging in enlightened conversations to learn from and with their peers. Two students have stood out above all others in the subject, however, and have been chosen as the winners of this award. I've been constantly surprised by their intellect, curiosity, and dedication to mastering this dynamic curriculum, and so I am pleased to announce that my choices for this year's ninth grade awards for the subject of geography are Teresa Clay and Sam Tutai. Congratulations to both of you. It's been my pleasure. Hi everybody, it's me, Shields. I'm here presenting the awards for the American Institutions and Issues class. This class examines the founding documents of our nation. It investigated the amendments of our constitution and analyzed the roles and responsibilities of all people within our society. We also identified and examined the American economic system. We investigated demographics and population and cultural histories. We reviewed the influential political philosophers and analyzed the timelines of rights throughout United States history. This class investigates and learns about many Supreme Court cases and how those decisions impacted society, our economic system, and our government. Finally, we also learned about the responsibilities of each level of government within our system. I want to thank every student that was a part of this class. This was a very rigorous and fun class, so thank you for all that each of you contributed to our class, our school, and our local and national communities. Each of you did an incredible job. Thank you for your perspectives, your drive to learn, and your active learning and engagement. Thank you to each of you students for all of the hard work that you have put into your learning. It was incredibly difficult to narrow down the awards for this class, but after much consideration, I am here awarding Kimberly Lopez Meza, Riley Walker, and Sage Nielsen the award of Outstanding Achievement within the American Institutions and Issues class. Congratulations to each of you award winners and to all my students. Thank you to every one of your students for another wonderful year at West Jordan Middle School. Hey, I'm here to present the ninth grade engineering award at West Jordan Middle School. As you guys have already heard, this is an amazing award. These ninth grade awards are very important. This tradition in engineering has been passed down from Mr. Burke to Mr. Roth and to me. So this is awesome. I'm so excited for these kids and this is a big deal. I'd like to talk about three amazing kids today that I taught this year that I think are amazing. But before I do that, I want to say how hard it is to figure out the best students 
in this area. I've had so many amazing kids this year, fell in love with so many great kids. So I am so excited to award these three kids because they are the best of the best. The first kid I'd like to give this award to is Brian Sabata. Brian, you are an amazing human, extremely smart, and you totally excelled in every area in every uh, project we did this year in engineering. The next one I'd like to talk about is Caleb Swain. Caleb, congrats, man, you are amazing. How hard you work, how creative you are, how amazing you were to do a lot of stuff on your own with the uh, Arduinos. I'm so very proud of you and you are such a kind and great kid. And the last one, and not least, is uh, Tanner Brumfield. Tanner, you're such a great kid as well. Your work is top notch. Your friendliness, your kindness, and your creativity, and your willingness to think outside the box. You guys are amazing. You deserve this award. I am so proud and honored to give you three amazing kids this award. Continue, I know you can accomplish any academic or any goals you guys put forth. Congrats. Welcome West Jordan Middle School's ninth grade class of 2020. This year has been a little crazy from the very beginning. We have come a long way from the foods room being filled with treadmills, science paraphernalia, and timpani drums to eight full functioning kitchens. We did some really inventive cooking in the first six weeks while we waited for our stoves and microwaves to arrive in October. Just as school seemed to get back to normal and we felt like things were on the right track, COVID-19 entered and sent us into virtual preschool. I hope the practicing mindfulness, breathing, and resiliency every day in class has helped you navigate this pandemic. Family and consumer science classes allow students to prepare for careers uh, develop skills for employment, to understand the importance of nutrition, learn about appropriate child care practices, understand financial literacy, develop parenting skills, and of course communication skills. Our winners this year have learned these skills through the many family and consumer science classes they've taken here at West Jordan Middle School. I'm proud to award these uh, certificates to uh, Emma Lynn Boyle, James Bond, and Cole Barnett. Congratulations for being outstanding students in the family and consumer science curriculum. Hello Lions, I am Mr. Franson and I am here to present the awards for outstanding achievement in business and marketing. In business and marketing, we focus not only on learning skills, but also showing those skills through projects and real life scenarios. So the students who won the award this year not only showed excellence in things like accounting, economics, entrepreneurship, and marketing, but they also showed an amazing ability to think of business ideas, to think ethically, and to pass a job interview with Mr. Francis, which they will all admit was not that fun. The two students this year that have gone above and beyond as ninth graders, not only the mastermind class content, but to help all the other students in class are William Wentz and Ivan. William, it has been a pleasure to have you in my class, not only through seventh grade and ninth grade, but during STEM throughout all three years. And I know that you are a hard worker and you are bright and you are a great person in life. Ivan, I just got to know you this year and I have to say I'm a big fan. You work hard, you're hilarious, and you always do your best in class. And those are skills that will go on to help you throughout your life. Gentlemen, I am so proud of you and it has been a privilege to be your teacher. And I hope you have a wonderful time in high school. I hope to see you guys around later on. Lions, I am Mr. Franson, and I am here to present the awards for Outstanding Achievement in Business Office Specialist. Our Business Office Specialist class experienced another resounding success this year as more than 50 students obtained their professional certifications in Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. This class is an especially difficult class because we treat it like a college course where students have to teach themselves, manage their time, manage distractions, and make an effort to be a team player and help other students out. 
Wow, we had so many students obtain certifications and so many of you are worthy of commendation. I had to pick only a handful. So without further ado, I'm gonna pick four students that set themselves apart not only as fantastic students, but they all showed us what it means to work hard, show grit, and be a team player. Our first award winner is Braden Hansen. Braden not only achieved some of the highest scores we've ever had in our school's history on the Excel, PowerPoint, and Word exams, he also made class fun every single day. He always made an effort to help everyone in need when his work was done, and he showed great employment skills. Our second award winner is Staten Ackerman. Everyone who knows Staten knows how fun that he is to have around, and I have to admit that he is rather hilarious to have in class. But on top of that, he is a very hard worker. And I have to say how grateful I am, Staten, that every single student in class I knew felt comfortable asking you for help because they knew that you would help them out, make it fun, and be a great example. Our third award winner is Imran Khalil. Imran, you are such a bright, self-motivated motivated, and disciplined student. You are mature, kind, and wise beyond your years. And I really appreciated your incredible example in class of not only helping other people, but getting the work done and not letting things like high school sports get in the way of hard work in class. And our last award winner, and definitely not least, is Paloma Escalante. Paloma, you are the definition of diligence. You quietly worked hard every single day and got everything done. And when you finished everything, you asked for more to do so that you could be ready for your exams. You're an incredible example of resilience and grit and the rewards of hard work. Not only did you complete this class to 100% A, you got all of your certifications through hard work and grit. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I can't wait to have you guys all be my bosses one day, and I hope you enjoy high school. Hello, students. I'm here to present the President's Achievement Award for Adversity. Someone who knows a little something about adversity is anti-apartheid revolutionary and political leader Nelson Mandela, who said, do not judge me by my success, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. This year, West Jordan Middle School honors 12 students who work hard and always get up and keep going no matter how many times they may fall. They've achieved their goals and have proven themselves to be excellent students inside and outside the classroom. We are proud to present these students with the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Carlos Herrera, Hunter Bogus, Caleb Swain, Sydney Okason, Jacob Mitchell, Tyson Daniels, Sadie Ponceroli, Leiloa Rupena, Lesieli Hall, McKenna Myers, Asena Vanicolo, and Allison Tatu. Tato Ola Fui. <laughs> Sorry, Allison. Did my best. Congratulations, students. We love you. Okay, students, I'm here to present the Presidential Award for Student Achievement above a 3.5. Every President of the United States has believed in the importance of getting a good education. But in today's world, getting a good education is more important than ever. Former President Bar Barack Obama remarked, in a global economy where the most valuable skill you can sell is your own knowledge, a good education is no longer just a pathway to opportunity, it is a prerequisite. To honor the students who are working hard to gain a good education, the President of the United States gives students who have earned a 3.5 GPA or higher and also students have had to receive official recommendations from two teachers or staff members here at WJMS to receive the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Award. And here are our winners. Agatha Marzen, Alexandria Bishop, Aliyah Duran, Alicia White, Allison McDougall, Andrew Jones, Ashlyn Arvizu, Ava Freeman, Bowen Berthelsen, Brinley Leffler, Caban Desmond, Carly Lucas, Chloe Hansen, Cody Dokos, Connor Soderberg, Damian Auger, Daniela Griffiths, Dimpal Chadahari, 
uh, Diana Grulet, Eliza Ko, Ella Kelsch, Ella Gilbert, Erica Johnston, Gonzalo Labra Oruhela, Grace Firkin, Gracie Jensen, Imran Khalil, Jack Allen, Jer Tafa Hema, Jadaya Christensen, Jillian Davenport, Kelly Larson, Kadra Ketchum, Courtney Cox, Kira Ewan, Logan Mitchell, McKenna Zumbrunnen, McKenna Norton, Mitchell Thome, Mohammed Mohammed Salil, uh, Natalia Mejia Eaton, Nicholas Hammond, Noah Jaramillo, Olivia Johnston, Rachel Garner, Riley Walker, Ryan Vogelsberg, Riley Cruz Shockey, Sage Nelson, Samuel Tautai, Samuel Whitchurch, Stratton Ackerman, Tavia DeFrancesco, Taylor Pace, Taylor Olson, Teresa Clegg, Timothy Jackson Jr., William Wentz, Yamilith yeah, yeah, Zamaran Garcia, and Zoe Chance. Congratulations, students, for maintaining a 3.5 or above. The winners of the ninth grade awards for excellence in AP Environmental Science are Alicia White, Jack Allen, and Jediah Christensen. The Chinese philosopher Confucius once said, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to unlock your full potential are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. These three exemplary students are already set on their path to excellence by their will to win and desire to succeed. Alicia, you are a role model to all the students. You understand the value of time, perhaps more than any of your peers. You make up the long hours lost in commute to school by making sure that every minute that you spend in school is productive. You set the bar so high for yourself and you're not afraid to work hard to achieve your goal. Jack, you have an amazing personality. I'm sure the entire school will agree with me on this. You are not only the smartest, but the most humble student that I've come across. You are such an active learner, and there is never a dull moment when you are in class. You are incredible. Jediah, you are not only intelligent, but you put in the effort. You give your best in everything that you do, and you also have a great personality. It was a pleasure to have you in my class. Congratulations to all three winners. You make our school proud. All the best wishes to you. I'm proud to be presenting the ninth grade awards for excellence in biology to three extraordinary students whom I had the pleasure of teaching last year. They are not only really great students, but are amazing individuals. They are epitomes of hard work and persistence. Their work ethic is impeccable not only when classes were in session, but during online learning as well. All three of them are our district science fair winners and participated in state science fair. Our first winner is Logan Mitchell. Logan is positivity embodied. His smile lights up the classroom. His inquisitiveness and curiosity has no bounds. You are a role model, Logan. The next winner is Olivia Johnston. There are many a times she has amazed me with her dedication and hard work. She refuses to ever give up. She loves science and her science fair project was impeccable. Olivia, you are incredible. Our last winner is Lily Vahdati. Lily came to our school in the middle of the year, but in no time she became our favorite. She won us over with her sweet nature and dedication to her studies. Despite 
Starting late with her science fair project, she still managed to produce quality work and win the district science fair. Congratulations to all three of you and all the best wishes. The ninth grade award for excellence in earth systems goes to McKenna Norton. McKenna, you are a hard worker. Your dedication to studies is unmatched. You fully utilize your time in class and always manage to produce quality work. It is said that the ability to adapt is the key to success. You adapted to online learning in no time and managed to keep your grades intact. It is not an easy task. You have truly earned this award and all the best wishes to you. This is Mr. Holmes and I would love to make my awards for the ninth grade sciences for Earth Systems specifically. Mahanri Diaz and Chris Apolinar Tomlin, you guys have done a phenomenal job in my classroom. Mahanri, we'll start with you. I have been impressed on your diligence throughout the entire year and how dedicated you have been to not only just finishing your assignments, but really helping out those people that have been around you in my class. I know I can't talk to everyone all day, every day, on how to help each of them with their assignments, and you've really helped fill the gap, helping those around you to make sure they knew what to do and how to help them get better scores in my class. And I, I really appreciate it, and I want to let you know that has gone very noticed. I, I wish I had more students in the future like you, Mahanri, because you've really taken the initiative to help out other students in my class. And Chris, I've been very motivated by you, especially towards the end of the year in third and fourth quarter. You've done a phenomenal job in third quarter before we went on quarantine, just making sure that you took care of everything and you came and worked with me to make sure you could get the best grade possible that you could deserve. And fourth quarter, you've blown it out of the water. I've just been so impressed on how well and how quickly you've been doing your online assignments and you've been doing them well. I'm, I'm just so happy and so proud. So. Chris Mahanri, I want you to know that my attention is focused to you right now because you've done such an awesome job and I want to make sure that you're recognized for that. So congratulations guys. It has been a great year with math this year. We've gotten to our new building, we have our great curriculum and then fourth quarter hits. So, but these kids have just been rock stars all year long. We appreciate all of your work. We wish we could pick all of you, but we can't, so unfortunately. And other people stole some of our winners. You know who you are, teachers. But we would like to congratulate these awesome, amazing math students. They are, um, the two that I'm announcing are Rachel Gardner and Bowen Berthelson. Congratulations, you guys. I always say that if you can do math, you got a lot of options in life. Keep those doors open, keep your confidence, keep rocking it. We're super proud of you. So those are my two announcements. And I'm announcing Imran Khalil and Jillian Davenport. You guys are awesome. High five. We love you. You guys are great. Keep it up. Mr. Franson here again to present the award for excellence in peer mediation. Our peer mediation program is truly a unique and exceptional offering here at West Shore Middle School. Peer mediators are quiet yet powerful leaders who do an incredibly important work that is often overlooked. They give up their time to make our school a better place by helping resolve student conflict and finding peaceful solutions to school problems. Rather than just sitting back and accepting how things are, these students have made the effort to work hard and make our school culture more inclusive, positive, and safe. Ms. Whiteman, Ms. Petrovich, and Ms. Williams and I can attest to the amazing work that these students have done behind the scenes all year to help make our school a better place and help make sure that no student hates going to school. So without further ado, our two winners of the Excellence in Peer Mediation Award are Porter Hall and Candy Gates. Porter, this is your first year as a peer mediator and I was so grateful to watch you step outside your comfort zone and step up in a big way to help make our school better. You're so responsible, empathetic, and caring about the problems of others, and you made it your mission to help make our school a safe place for everyone. And I can attest to the fact that many students who went through peer mediation 
you have mentioned to me how you made them feel safe and cared for. Cami, you are our old pro coming back for your second year as a mediator. For a while there, you single-handedly carried the program and helped train other mediators. You did more mediations than anyone, and you were a great example to all of the new mediators. You were mature, wise, and kind. And I know for a fact that all of the students that talked to you felt comfortable and cared for in your presence. Thank you so much for all that you two have done to make our school a better place. You are amazing human beings who will never know how many lives have been touched by your hard work this year. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Kelsey Christensen, our Academic Support Classroom Student of the Year, and to Richard Privet, our Peer Tutor of the Year. Both have done an amazing job this year and we're super proud of both. Becoming a leader is synonymous with becoming yourself. It is precisely that simple and it is also that difficult. Warren Bennis. This quote embodies our student body officers. I've watched them grow and mature throughout the school year and work towards becoming their best selves, which in turn made them better leaders. The two leadership awards for student body officers go to Kimberly Lopez and Rebecca Marble. Both of these students have fulfilled their responsibilities as student body officers, kept high grades, and set an example for our student body. I also have three service awards for our SBOs that worked hard to support their classmates and make the year a little bit better for us all. These awards go to Carlos Prado, Kaylee Oram, and Kayla Lay. Congratulations, SBOs. I admire you, I love you, and it has been a pleasure working with you this year. It is my privilege as chair of the National Junior Honor Society to award the National Junior Honor Society Leadership Award. This year, we had over 60 members of the National Junior Honor Society who have maintained both high citizenship and high GPAs. All National Junior Honor Society members have demonstrated their commitment to high personal goals and have led out through their examples and have contributed over 2,000 hours of community service to their schools and their families and communities. So it is very difficult to choose only two for this award especially hard because every member of National Junior Honor Society has been outstanding, especially my officers. But for leaving out, leading out with brick cleaning and the food drive, those recipients are my National Junior Honor Society President, Ashlyn Arvisu, and my service chair, Tavia DeFrancesco. here to present the award for our Polynesian crew leaders. I'm very excited to present this award as I love these kids so much. Um, the Polynesian crew here at West Jordan Middle School is a student leadership group meant to cultivate and celebrate Polynesian culture and values. The Polynesian crew is an all-inclusive group inviting students with island heritage to join as well as any other student who would like to be involved in the group. In Poly Crew, we often say Poly means many, and with many, we are strong. The students receiving the Leadership Award for Polynesian Crew have served as an example to other students both this year and in past years at West Jordan Middle School. Each of these young ladies have served as leaders by making announcements, planning activities, teaching dances, all while keeping on top of their own learning. The first student I want to recognize is a scholar who keeps her grades up and has even been recognized as Lion of the Quarter. She is always smiling and positive. She's such a good example to her peers. And I'm happy to congratulate Leslie Ellie Hall with the Poly Crew Leadership Award. So congratulations, Leslie Ellie. The second student I want to recognize has served in the Poly Crew all three years at WJMS. She is kind to all students. She serves as a leader to the tribe. The Poly Crew looked to her to coordinate dances and activities. Without her, the Poly Crew would be lost. She always kept everyone in line and having fun. She faced her own adversity this year and has overcome so much to remain a leader 
and a good student. This student is Leiloa Rupenya. So congratulations, ladies. I love you. Polly Crew. The Empathy Project, just as the name suggests, is a student group dedicated to learning about and developing empathy. Writer, poet, and activist Henry David Thoreau speaks of empathy when he wrote, could a greater miracle take place than for us to look through each other's eyes for an instant? Empathy is trying to understand other people, their perspectives, and where they are coming from despite differences in skin color, socioeconomic status, gender identity, ability level, or any other factors. Students in the Empathy Project are encouraged to look outside themselves to learn about the experiences of others, advocate for justice and equity for all, and raise awareness for more inclusive practices. While we have many stellar members, Daisy Martinez and Carly Lucas both demonstrated excellent leadership in our group through planning events, engaging in discussions, and through their own empathy development. I'm pleased to be awarding them the Leadership Awards for the Empathy Project. I'm here to recognize some of our student ambassadors for outstanding achievement and service. West Jordan Middle School student ambassadors provide a combination of leadership and service to our school and community. Some of the projects this year have included teaming up with West Jordan High School, Utah Valley University to promote kindness through service, a campaign to spread kindness through social media, monthly trivia games and physical challenges designed to bring students together, activities for new students who are enrolling mid-year designed to welcome them to the West Jordan Middle School family, providing tours and answering questions during registration night, and teaching mindfulness lessons to individual classes to help with anxiety and stress. The two ambassadors being awarded today have volunteered their time and talents for the past two years. This means taking all the extra hours they've put in during the school day and the additional homework and projects they are doing after hours and doubling it. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication. The Student Ambassador Award for Outstanding Achievement and Service goes to Gracie Jensen and Gianella Liza Murillo. I am happy to present the Latinos in Action Award to Ariana Porter and Ivan Ibarra Guzman. You both have shown great leadership in preparing activities and coordinated with your peers during each of our events. I am grateful for the support and the disposition you have shown to be leaders in the school and represent the Latino population among our students in an outstanding way. Thank you. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. We actually have a little surprise for you. PTSA would like to recognize you, Ms. Pierce, as our Teacher of the Year for West Jordan Middle School. We are so <laughs> thankful for you and for everything you do for our students. Not just as a teacher, but as a true mentor and friend to them. Do you mean? I know, now I'm going to cry. Come on over. I want to tell you some of the things that your students have said about you. Um, oh, first I want to tell everyone why you're a teacher, because it made me cry. I'm already crying, but... Um, Ms. Pierce's inspiration to become a teacher came from her dad. Um, Ms. Pierce, his father, was dedica he dedicated his life to Native American education. And a year following his death, Ms. Pierce decided to leave her career in engineering to become a teacher. Um, in her own words, she said, it was time to pay it forward, which I think is awesome. Um, I'm going to tell you some of the fun things your students said. They're adorable. <laughs> she always makes math fun. She's understanding of kids and helps them when they need the extra help. Her class is always full of joy, and she makes everyone participate in ways that they are comfortable. She never makes students feel dumb or unreasonable. She inspires me to be a better person and work my hardest when I'm trying new things. She has taught me a lot and has never given up on me. She has a wonderful summer school program that's helping me to get out there and to learn, and I really appreciate that. I have, found man I have many fond memories of Jordan Prep. She rewards us for good behavior and really cares and is passionate about what she does. She never gets mad, yells, 
or talk slightly to people. <laughs> Pushing me even when I feel <laughs> like I can't do it and then proves her point that I really can do it. I'm grateful for Miss Pierce because she inspires me to do better in math. She is always there for me whenever I need help. I can go to her anytime and she will listen to me talk. Thank you, Miss Pierce, for being a great teacher. She's helped me to improve in math and she makes sure that I don't give up on my work. She believes that I can do better even when I don't seem confident. She always pushes me to do my best. Even on the days that I don't want to work, she pushes me to do the right thing. I look up to her. You can always go to her for a real talk. She does a lot to make sure that the kids in the school are happy. She helps some of them with their personal issues and she finds ways to make sure that they are happy and healthy. I'm grateful for Miss Pierce because she is such a fantastic teacher and has inspired me to have math confidence. Thank you, Miss Pierce, for making West Jordan Middle School so great for our students, for our parents, for our faculty, and for our staff. Congratulations on being our 2020 <laughs> Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> you didn't know. Hello students, it is my honor and my pleasure to be able to present the Lions of the Year Award. Here at West Jordan Middle School, we set high expectations for our students and are proud of the positive achievements of all of our students. However, there are always students who go above and beyond the expectations set for them. Right now, we are going to celebrate two of these students. These students were both nominated for awards by so many teachers that we couldn't just award them in one category. We have, we have to give them the most prestigious award a student can earn during their time at, at WJMS, an award that signifies that these students went above and beyond expectations in all of their classes and even in extracurricular groups and activities. Again, I'm proud to present our line of the year awards our first line of the year has been described by Miss Maxfield as a magnet of positivity. He attracts people to him and, all the, and they all want to stay. He is a calm anchor in the storm of a middle school classroom. Mr. Matthews said he has really risen to the challenge of the AP class and has been an, a great example to all of us here at WJMS. He was always very kind and willing to help without being asked which is greatly appreciated. Of this student, Ms. Walker comment, commented, he demonstrates faith in himself, which shows continuously in his relentless work ethic. I've never heard him complain, nor seen him without a smile on his face. Ms. Pierce expressed, he is one of the most thoughtful, conscientious young men I've had the pleasure of working with. He is meticulous and thorough with his work and really dedicated to doing his best on every assignment. He looks out for his classmates and is always kind and helpful. This year he got involved with the Empathy Project and I've been so impressed with his maturity and willingness to engage with difficult, sensitive topics. Mr. Jones stated that he would always jump in and take on any challenge with a smile and that he would also create a healthy competition with the other students in class. If you were to look up the words grit or determination in the dictionary, you would see a picture of this student. I am pleased to present our first line of the year award to Noah Jaramillo. Congratulations, Noah. Our next line of the year is described by Miss Bagley as a steadying force for good who leads out with her quiet yet determined example. Ms. Bagley continued by saying she is concerned about others, about others' feelings and takes care uh, that everyone she associates with feels safe and included. She has high goals for herself and works hard to achieve them, but never at the expense of someone else. I'm guessing she will be surprised by this award because she doesn't seek the spotlight, but allows others to, sh to shine as she backs them up. Mr. Pulsifer stated, she is the most kind and thoughtful student I have ever had. She was always the first one to volunteer to help and regularly finds things to do to help others before they can even ask. And she's sneaky about it. I don't think she, I don't think any of us actually knows how much she does for others. On top of that, she's also smart, positive, and hardworking. 
Mr. Olderoid has been very impressed with this, with this student this year, saying her work ethic is amazing and I will take her wherever, and it will take her wherever she wants to go in life. Ms. Walker expressed that she has a knack for doing her best in all things, especially writing. I'm thankful to have had the privilege of being her teacher, if even for a short time. Her work ethic will take her to places that she didn't expect and heights to be proud of. This student is a shining example of what it means to be a good student and a good citizen. I'm pleased to present our final Lion of the Year Award to Allison McDougall. Congratulations, Allison. And this closes our ninth grade awards assembly. On behalf of every teacher, counselor, administrator, and staff member at WJMS, I would like to thank you all for your tremendous hard work and dedication this year. As we send you off into the world of high school, please remember that we love you, we care about you, and that even though you may no longer be a student at WJMS, you will always have the heart of a lion. Thank you.
younger year When all our shadows disappeared The animals inside came out to play When face to face with all our fears Learned our lessons through the tears Made memories we knew would never fade One day my father, he told me Son, don't let it slip away He took me in his arms, I heard him say When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days Think of me if ever you're afraid He said one day To those shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father He told me son don't let it slip away When I was just a kid I heard him say When you get older you wild heart Will live for younger days Think of me if ever you're afraid He said one day Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your Memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop oh, yeah. Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never drop Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Gonna raise a glass and say, hey Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here 
would unite those who dreams Bring back all the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Join me in trying to learn more by keeping up in with our classes and assigned homework. We can do this. Stay safe. Stay healthy. As the school administrators say, we love you. We care about you. Learning is important. Staying home is important. Let's make it a great day. Are you feeling unmotivated and overwhelmed with all the work you have to do? Do you feel like you're living the same day over and over and over and over again? Someday when we aren't six feet apart We are all in this together. We just need to make the best of it and be there for each other. The first thing that I'm gonna do is slide on in so Hi Lions, we all know quarantine's been really rough, but think of all the good things that have come out of it. We're not sick, teachers aren't sick, keeping the heart of the lion strong. Get your movie, kids your cake. Watch a ball game from the stands Probably overwash my hands I miss my mom, I miss my dad I miss the road, I miss my band Give it hugs and shaking hands Well it's a mystery I suppose Just how long this thing goes But there'll be crowds and there'll be shows one day at a time. Hey everyone, I miss you. Um, I miss being here. I miss our after school activities. But I know that we can get more strong enough to get through this. Just like we always tell you, we love you. We care about you. We really hope you keep learning because it's so important. Um, hang in there and we'll see you again when this is all over. Someday we aren't six feet apart